Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. In this video, we're gonna be focusing mainly on how to trim ears. With us today, we got Bailey once again, guys. We use Bailey in past videos. He's been such a good dog for us, so we decided to use him again. So if you're interested on how to trim dogs' ears, stay tuned, this video is for you. Okay guys, so as with any good grooming, we're gonna start off with a good brush out. Uh, again, we're using our slicker brush, a universal tool. We're gonna to use this a lot, and we're just gonna start by brushing down the ear. Okay, now we're not brushing too hard. We're brushing lightly, especially in the beginning, and I'm supporting the ear with my left hand. Okay, as also in doing that, I'm protecting his eye area and protecting the side of his face. But again, we're just kinda brushing down that ear and you can already see the difference and all this stuff is what's going to be coming off of that ear it's basically just the dead hair that's been lying on the ear for a period of time we're getting all that out and we're just going to go ahead and flip the ear over and do the same thing and brush the inside of the ear and we're working side to side, see? We're just doing this with the brush, a little here, 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 and just coming back. And you'll know that it's all brushed out once you don't hear that tugging sound or that scratching sound anymore. There you go, good boy, Bailey. And you can see the difference in the ears already. See this ear? It's already nice and almost looks finished already. Okay, now we're switching over to Bailey's left ear, and we're just gonna do the same thing, guys. Just supporting that ear with our, with our four fingers here and our thumb, and just going down the ear nice and gently. We're not brushing very, very hard. We're letting the curvature of the brush do the work, you see? We're just kind of finessing that brush. And we're not staying in one area for a long time. Notice how we're not, just not digging one area. We're just kind of working across and back and forth as to not brush burn. You don't want to brush burn the dog where the bristles are actually irritating the skin. We want to just keep the brush brushing a different spot. And there's all that dead hair coming off of the ear. See that? And in our brush. See? All of that just came right out of that ear. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and flip that ear again. Do the same thing we did on his right ear. Got my bales. And we're just gonna go through it with the comb. And your comb's gonna be your big test. Once your comb just flows right through, then you know that you've gotten all of the knots out of the ear. Comb is just flowing right through both ears, just like that. Good boy, Bailey. Okay, so we're gonna finish up Bailey's prep here. We're gonna get him right in the tub and we're gonna get him on the drying table. We're gonna blow dry him and then we're gonna show you how we finish him up with the scissors. Okay guys, so now that Bailey has been bathed and blow dried, he's back on the finishing table with us and we're gonna start to scissor up these ears and uh, make them look really cute here. Uh, so the point of uh, getting him bathed and brushed out uh, prior to all of this is so that the ear is nice and clean and it's gonna make for a much uh, nicer, uh, more even cut. Okay, so once we do this, I'm just gonna spray them down with a little bit of Shoshin finishing spray, not a lot, just a little bit to wet the ear down so that it'll comb down nicely like that and get rid of a little bit of the static in the ear. So one of the challenges in trimming ears is of course getting the ears to become even. So what I like to do with dogs is, you know, pop up their ears like this to see pretty much where their ears lie. Um, and some dogs have different ear flaps, so we just wanna try our best to, um, you know, cut off the same amount on both ears. But again, we're just gonna be checking the ear as we go along. So with that being said, let's start 
with, um, we're gonna start with this right ear here. Safety is key here, guys, because now we're dealing with scissors and I'm using EM Guybe curb, curved shears. These are seven and a half curved shears. They're very sharp, so you gotta be very, very careful. And part of being careful is locating the end of the ear flap. So you always wanna feel with your hand exactly where the end of that ear flap is. So I have the benefit of knowing Bailey here, but if you're working on a dog you don't know, or if you're doing this for the first time, always check for the ear flap. So Bailey's ear flap is right here. I'm touching the end of his ear flap, and it's, it's under there. You can't really see it. So that's why touch and feel are really big here when we're trimming ears. And I'm coming from behind the ear here. So basically, again, his ear flap is here. So we're just gonna be trimming about that much off. Okay, we don't want to come even close to that ear flap because you, you don't want to risk uh, cutting the dog if he moves or something like that. So let's just start with that first snip. And we're just basically coming across the whole entire ear. Maybe three, three scissor movements. Two, three. Just going back over. One, two, three. Just like that. And you can see that you know, you're getting a nice, even, round cut. So now that we've done that, what we'll do is we'll go back to popping up that ear again, okay? Just like this. And we can see now that, you know, we're, we're really not cutting a whole lot off. Uh, we could probably go a little more. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just go a little bit more off of this ear. There we go. And by working on your dog's ears, guys, by trimming them, by brushing them out, you're gonna avoid matting, you're gonna avoid overgrown hair inside the ear, which is gonna, um, you know, cause for like less ear infections and uh, again, matting behind the ear. A lot of times dogs will get these big mats right behind the ear here and it's very uncomfortable and just not good. So by just, you know, trimming down ears and cleaning them up and getting a lot of that hair off, you're really, you're really doing your dog a justice here. Now we're gonna switch over to his left ear. Same approach, we're just going to comb the ear down and again, locate that flap. Always check both flaps. Don't, don't just assume that the flaps are the same because some dogs will have a much longer flap on one ear than the other, but we're right about here. So we're gonna do this, okay? So kind of make an imaginary line in your, in your head of where you're gonna cut. So you can see we're, like, we're cutting like maybe, maybe a half inch off of them, about that. Yeah. And I'm supporting and holding his ear with my left hand to get that cut. Okay. So it's coming out pretty good. So here's that, here's that front shot again. So now you can just check and see where you want to cut more. And uh, I may have cut a little bit too much off this right ear, but that's okay, because we could just go back and trim back whatever we need to to make them come out even. And it's a lot of practice, you know. You can do this, you can do this at home. It's not always gonna come out great. I don't always do perfect ears, but I, I try my best with every dog. And um, Bailey here has beautiful ears. That's why we wanted to feature him. Uh, because we just love his ears. They're just so pretty. They're so soft. I wish you could crawl through the camera right now because he, his ears are just so soft and nice. So I am going to cut a little bit more off of this one. Just fine tune it a little bit. Let me see, Billy. Let's see what you look like. Oh, you're so handsome, buddy. Look at your ears. So another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is always start off cutting less hair than more. Don't, don't hack off a bunch of hair because if you cut it too short, there's no way of putting it back on, but you can always go shorter. So always start off by 
trimming a little bit at a, at a time. And again, you can always go shorter if you feel like you want to take the ear shorter, but just be careful to not hack off a bunch of hair right off the bat. And now if the ears look too short, you know, it's going to be an undesirable look or you're not going to like it. Uh, you can't put it back on. <laughs> Come here, Bales. Let's see those ears. Let me see you, buddy. Let me see you. Oh, look how handsome you are. Look at, oh, are you tired? Are you tired? Yeah. Long day, huh, buddy? Long day? Long day at the grooming shop? Okay, guys, so big thank you to Bailey here for being such a good dog throughout that whole process. We appreciate all the dogs that let us do this so that we could show you what we do. And hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, trimming ears is just, again, an important, crucial part of dog grooming, along with lots of other things that we're going to show you in future videos. But that's going to do it for today, and we'll see you next week. Good boy, Bales. Good boy, Bales. <laughs>